welcome to show number one with CC and GC Pro Football Hot Takes. Glad you could join us today. My co-host here, Mr. Christian Kennedy, talking some NFL today. We got a special guest on the show. Thanks for tuning in. Christian, All right, what's your so take here? What's going on? Let's talk about the Vikings at the Packers. So we got we see that the Vikings got Kirk Cousins over here, but from what we played last Last week with the, um, they played the I totally forgot. San Francisco 49ers. Oh, yeah. With San Francisco 49ers, how do you think they will go with the Packers? I don't know. They have to have confidence after that game. I mean, the 49ers aren't bad, but the question to me is, is Aaron Rodgers going to come out 100% healthy? If that's, he's not healthy, that's exactly what I was thinking. the Packers are doomed. Game over. Well, Let's not even play There's a lot of talk about him coming back in to just play quarterback, but how is he supposed to drop back and throw the ball? I don't know. I haven't heard any updates. We, we would like to have that information for you. Hey, we're going to be your uh, season-breaking news providers all year long. You, you got to stay with us, but we don't know about Aaron Rodgers. I don't know if anybody does at this point. I don't think so. What do you? Uh, I got. I guess uh, the the important storyline from week one for me was the Dolphins Titans longest game in NFL history, baby. Glad my favorite team could be a part of that. They got the win, seven hours and eight minutes. And I stuck with them the whole time in their 27-20 Dolphin victory. Christian, what else you got? I got to talk about Stefan Diggs. Diggs? That last game he played was a good game, but do you think that Kirk Cousins can still get him the ball? Oh, Cousins, the way he's laying that ball in there. I, I noticed that in the first preseason game. They played Denver. They yeah, went out in a mile-high stadium, and they Diggs caught one in full stride. I mean, they, they had it going on then. They're only going to get better. Uh, all right. And what about Adam Thielen? Mankato State, geez, local boy, I love him, 19. Let's get, hey, let's pound the chest for 19, local boy. Uh, I wanna just talk, my other storyline too is Buffalo is obviously one sad franchise. Hope they enjoyed the playoffs last season because they're not going for another 19 years. They are one bad Buffalo football team. All right, I gotta talk about the Jets here. So, how are the Jets going to stop um, the Finns from throwing that ball? The, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the Jets do. You want to make predictions early here? We can get to that. We got that prediction coming up right now. We might as well. Rashad Jones. Need I say more? Uh, he's going to take advantage of the rookie. I know Dalton went off against the Lions. He had a great game. But Rashad Jones, he's a baller. He is a pro bowler. Uh, get your 20 jerseys. Start buying them now. Don't be late. Dolphins 30, Jets 24. What do you got, Christian? I got to talk about Sam Darnold. How he threw that first, threw, oh. first throw of the game, pick six. How does that happen? Good lesson for eighth graders. You, you blow something, maybe a teacher gets on you, you come back, you fight, you keep pushing, you get the victory, you find a way. That's a good question right there. Uh, as our board falls down. Hey, this is show number one. Things are going to happen. Should we get to the celebrity guest? We Looks like time start. might be running this short. Is Noah Garcia on the set. Let's talk a little college football. Noah? Um, oh, they haven't played too many games in the college league yet. They've only played a couple. Um, but for the NFL, I, I didn't look too much into college for this week, but for the NFL, I am, for week one, I think it was a good week. My favorite team, the Patriots, hey, they beat the Texans 27 to 20. I'm happy about that. But for week two, week coming up, oh boy, lots of rivalries. First, we have the Vikings and the Packers. That, that's a, another big one. And Texans and the Titans, big AFC South game. It's going to be a good one. Also, the Raiders and the Broncos, an AFC West game. That's going to be a big rivalry. Lots of teams don't like each other. No, they do not at all. All right, so be, Noah, do you think that the Browns might have a chance this coming up week? I think they might. Tying the Steelers like that, the Steelers are not a bad team. and If they if the Browns play like they did against the Steelers, they might have a chance. And the Saints, if they play like they did against the Buccaneers, no defense. That's a great game. I think the Buccaneers game. got a pretty good chance there. Well, we better leave it off on that. I want one 
quick prediction on a game from our celebrity guest there, Mr. Noah Garcia, one from Christian. I'll conclude and we'll call it a wrap. Well, New England at Jacksonville, the Patriots. Patriots versus Jaguars. I think the Patriots will win. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 35 to 21 Patriots. Christian? I gotta talk about the Vikings and Green Bay. I think the Vikings will go 35 and 14. 35-14, big 21-point victory there, not even a game. I'm going to go with that same game, Vikings 20, Packers 17 on a last-second field goal. Good for you, Viking fans. That wraps up show number one. Look for us next week. We'll provide you more great information.